priority message to all active duty agents. Be aware that Agent Aaron Keener, call sign Vanguard, has had his agent status revoked and is now a priority target. To breathe. Hi guys, it's Queenie here and today I'm going to show you the build that I was shown by my good friend Space for solo power. Solo power isn't my favourite of roles. I have done this successfully once or twice. Half the time I try, I just mess up big time. And Space told me how to do it and I've never had an issue. So Space, if you're watching this, thank you my darling. And we'll get some red sorted together soon, I promise you. I love you. Right. Let's get on to the build. It's basically Agent requesting backup. same as your DPS build. But instead of having your Reviver Hive as a skill, you're going to swap it out. For a stinger hive, just like that. But we're gonna go through the build, anyways. Um, this is what I use. I just use the attack fifty for the stability of the farmers, cause it can get a bit jumpy at times. Um, my farmers has. 15% assault rifle damage, 21% health damage, and 10% damage to target out of cover. Uh, I have Optimus. Weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. I also use the Scorpio. I have 12.8% shotgun damage, 10% damage to armor, and 9% crit hit damage on it. I wish that was damage to tag out of color. Um, septic shock is the talent. Shooting a target applies stacks of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target uh, 1 poison 3 disorient 6 shock 7 targets take an additional 20% damage stacks no longer increase duration of status effects is based on the set percentage of pellets hit on the applying shot I use a Providence mask. I use a Providence chest piece. I'm gonna swap out the holster for the Dodge City. On the mask, I have crit chance and crit damage. I got a crit damage mod on there. On the chest piece, I've got crit chance, crit damage, crit damage mod. The two piece providence gives me an extra 15% headshot damage and 10% crit hit chance. My talent is a obliterate. Crit hit it increases total weapon damage for 1% for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 25 times. The Dodge City holster. It's got weapon damage, weapon handling, and headshot damage. The talent is quick draw. While your pistol is holstered, gain a stack above every 0.3 seconds up to 100. When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals plus 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit. 
I have the group all backpack, which gives me an extra 15% crit hit damage. I've got hit crit hit chance and crit hit damage rolled onto it with a crit hit damage mod. Uh, Vigilance is my talent. It increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. I have contractors. I have 8% damage to armor and rolled 12% crit hit damage on there. Our fox fox's knees. It comes with weapon damage. I've changed that to armor on my preference for more survivability. It also has damage to target out of cover and I've got crit hit damage on there. I use the turret for distraction and I use the stinger. We'll swap the TDI custom to a D50. And I've got 12.1 pistol damage and now I've got 10% damage to target out of cover. The talent doesn't really matter but I've got Optimus on there. Let's show you the footage of the low power. Hostile radio intercepted. Lieutenant Gray failed me. As the boss fight starts, place you two on the on alpha side. I'll cut through the control room to get at the back of it. I will read the first two codes. I really need to let it stand still. I'll read the second code, then I will go place the stinger hive. Hostiles detected. That's one nade. Two. I'll try and one shot the purple of the pistol, it doesn't work, so I'll get my AR out, switch to my Scorpio. Kill the Junga. When the turret goes off, you'll have all your damage numbers come down this side of the screen. And when you hear the stinger, you run over to Charlie. I was quite lucky this time because I was actually over Charlie's side. I completely missed the pistol shot again. Break the chunga. And kill the purple. Then we go downstairs onto Charlie's side. I'll help out with ad control. I'll put my stinger hive near the door once I've done rockets. Stinger Hive goes out. Typical Queenie gets shot as always. It's weak point time, so we get ready for weak points. Now with weak points, I try and one shot them. If that fails, I use the AR, but you can just use an AR all the way through. Multiple 
second one I'll use the AR third one as you'll see is a little bit flimsy because I missed the shot completely I use the AR and Pfizer thinks it's funny to burn me Multiple hostiles inbound. as soon as I break from fire I will just use my AR and break it that's weak points done I've got all to help out with Bravo Water. So I'll do rockets, then I'll run around for Bravo Water. The war was, was a little bit complicated because it was mostly 15s. So I was on standby just in case we needed some more. Multiple but what was inbound. was A and C? Take it out. I just chuck everything out there to help with our control. As the person shot for 25, I'll give them some water. We run around to Bravo Airlock. I will switch my Scorpio for a lefty so I can proc Sledge. Sledge is propped. Multiple hostiles inbound. And now we'll just kill the ads. Thank you.